in gender and development studies. The two-day summit will bring together diverse stakeholders to deliberate on the building blocks of an integrated and innovation-led economy, as well as connect women entrepreneurs with investors, corporates and policy makers to facilitate their growth strategies for the region in the entrepreneurship space. George Washuri, the keynote speaker at the event, as well as the founder and CEO of Optiven Group, say that the summit is providing a platform for women to identify the opportunities that are available in the entrepreneurship space because they have the potential to lead economic growth if they are empowered through proper policies. And this summit is also encouraging young women out there to be able to adopt entrepreneurship, to adopt a business, to be able to do business because at the end of the day, the, the SMEs, the, the business owners are the people who are creating jobs, they're the people who are paying taxes, and we are hoping that uh, as many more women come in to do business, to do what George Washington is doing, we are going to see progress uh, in Kenya and progress in Africa because we have what it takes, we have resources. In her opening remarks, the Expodium Africa founder and CEO Evelyn Kimathi say that women have ventured in the entrepreneurship space but they are faced by a number of challenges which lead to the death of their businesses. Women are warming up to business, and when they warm up to business, some start it as a nobe or a passion, but it starts to grow and they don't have the right skills. And when they start to grow, some are not sustainable. And when they become sustainable again, they're not able to scale them to the next level. And we started asking the questions, why? Why is that? Some are saying like uh, they're limited, or like no access to finance, information, you know, innovation, you know, sustainability. They didn't have the capacity skills that they needed for that. In building women-led businesses by identifying the available opportunities, we spoke to Sarah Karingi, a business networking expert at Global Networks Investment, who pointed out the importance of networking in businesses. Networking for any successful person, be it a man, be it a woman, you always meet people. And the people that you meet will either know something that you don't know, so they will help you to grow your business. They will help you to go build boundaries. They will help you to connect, they will connect you to their opportunities. The others will uh, work with you and encourage you. She continued to point out on some of the ways that women can make the use of power of networking to improve or even boost their already existing businesses. Women can um, harness this is, uh, by getting to understand what other people are doing. And you can only do that if, number one, you read books. The other thing is you network. And how do you network? Showing interest in other people. Even as the government continues to pledge its support to women through affirmative action, it is important for all relevant stakeholders to join hands in these efforts, given that an economically empowered woman has a greater impact not just on the household, but the nation at large. For Brand Plus TV Business News, I am Daisy Wambua.